Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Sonic 220 VBH. It's going to be a great bunkhouse model. Let's go ahead and start up front, we'll make our way back and then head on in. Right here you'll see the power tongue jack. This is going to make it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. It also has a light right up front uh, to help you connect or disconnect at night. Behind that's going to be your propane tank cover, two 20 pound propane tanks in there. Nice and easy to access. You have some thumb screws, you can just turn those off and get right into the top. Behind that's the tray for your battery and then diamond plating. You see the diamond plating runs up nice and high. That way any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle are going to hit this diamond plating and not scratch up the beautiful fiberglass on the front end. Speaking of the fiberglass, one of the things I love about the Sonic, this is going to be one piece fiberglass construction from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. Big advantage to that, less chance for any kind of water penetration. When you look at it, normally you, on the roof you have seams that are going to be going across the front and the back, not the case on the Sonic. And because of the natural crown, that water is going to want to run to the front and the back of the RV without the use of any kind of uh, rain gutters. And uh, naturally, because it runs to the front and back, again, less chance for water penetration because less seams. So that's really advantageous. Let's come take a look here at the pass-through. Huge pass-through storage in there, which is great, especially on a smaller, lightweight RV like this. You can see a magnetic latch right there, makes it nice and easy. And slam latch baggage doors. You don't have to worry about coming down there, just makes it super simple. One of the other cool things, right on the top, you'll see this is a covered hinge, so you don't have to worry about any rust or anything from that hinge uh, coming down the side and looking really gross. Let's take a look at the side of the 220 here. You'll see the power awning. It's, uh, nice and easy to use. Touch of a button that rolls out. Touch of a button to go ahead and roll back in. Uh, LED light is going to be built into the barrel. Underneath that, uh, two speakers. Those are going to be marine grade quality. They'll be hooked up to your multimedia center that is inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you want to connect to that via Bluetooth, control your music from right out here while you're sitting underneath your awning, you can easily do that. To get into the coach, two steps, uh, bottom one there is going to be nice and low so easy to get in and you have the lit grab handle here as well. Uh, aluminum rims on there, not only do those look nice, but also it's going to be less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. And if you do want an outside TV, that's going to be your hookups right here, uh, electric hookup and satellite. And of course that will also be located underneath the power awning to provide shade. Let's come on around to the back here. A couple quick things. Uh, one, this is going to be the bumper. Now the bumper is huck bolted on. This whole entire frame underneath is a huck bolt frame. Big advantage to that, it's going to be stronger and if it ever does get damaged, it's a lot easier to replace. You can cut the huck bolts, install new ones, and it's not like a car or a standard RV where if it's welded and gets damaged, it's bent. Not the case here. So the huck bolt's going to be big advantage. On that bumper is your spare tire with the cover to help protect it from the elements. Also in the back, outside shower, both hot and cold access. I like having it on the back instead of the off door side, just easier to access. So they're a lot more likely to use it. Uh, city water connection and a black tank flush valve. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that is, is instead of having to bring a hose into the bathroom, putting it in the toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, now you can take that hose, hook it right up to here, and the uh, black tank has sprayers built in that'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Again, if you take a look at that roof line, you can see again that one piece fiberglass coming down uh, absolutely fantastic and you see the sticker right here this is going to be pre-wired for a backup camera so if you do want one it is going to be easier to install right over here is the satellite and cable connections and this is really cool too this is pre-wired for your ZAMP solar system so if you do want uh, solar power all you have to do is buy the panels you can run the cable plug it in right there uh, because this coach has all LED lights that's a huge advantage having the solar prep and then on this side, now you have the big pass-through storage, but take a look right there. Great storage right underneath here. And same thing, this is also going to be slam latch baggage door. All right, it's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the gorgeous interior. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sonic 220 VBH. This particular model is going to be in the Summit interior. Start off on the kitchen right here. So one of the things I like that uh, Sonic has done and Venture Company as a whole is they have what they call a tech box. Right on the end here, the cabinets, they really utilize the space. If you notice, there's actually a hinge right here. So this opens up just like so. If you take a look, you'll see uh, your standard 120 
20 and you have two USB ports. So perfect place to put your cell phones. That way you can charge them, close them off, and it's not cluttering up your countertops. Speaking of countertops, you can see here you have great prep space, especially because you have a sink top cover and your cooktop cover on here as well. Uh, take the sink top cover off, you'll see nice big double bowl sink, high rise faucet there in order to, uh, to help aid in doing dishes. The two burner cooktop, as I mentioned, does have the glass top on here. This folds up. Cool thing about that is it kind of acts as a backsplash. It is nice and easy to clean. But speaking of that, this back wall back here, this is actually a panel. A lot of your manufacturers just put in a wallpaper and after you try to clean it, it would you know get destroyed. It would look terrible. Not the case here. This is an actual panel, so you can clean that off. Underneath the oven, uh, instead of having a, uh, or underneath the cooktop, instead of having an oven, they have a convection oven. And the big advantage of that is you get a huge storage space right there. So that's perfect for pots and pans, plenty of room for everything uh, in that compartment. Two full extension ball bearing drawers. Storage right over here. You can see uh, a great storage there. And right over here, I'll open this up for you. You can see you have storage there as well. So if you have uh, you're looking for a place for a trash can, that would be a great place for it right there. Take a look up top, excellent pantry space here. And then next to that, as I mentioned, this is the convection uh, oven. I'll open that up. So plenty of space in there, you know, just as much as your standard oven, but it's gonna be easier to clean, it cooks faster, and it's not gonna put out the heat that your standard oven does. Below that is your fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Norcold fridge freezer right here. I'll open that up for you. Uh, you can see you have plenty of room in there. This is going to turn off both LP and electric, and it'll also have automatic switchover. One of the things I do like about Norcold, the products are made in the USA. Let's take a look right here in the bathroom. As soon as you uh, walk in, you'll see the uh, toilet, foot flush lever, plenty of room there. And then as we make our way up, that's gonna be your vanity and sink top. Great storage down below. You can see you have a cutout, great shelving. Then up above that is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Next to that, is, uh, you have the Neo Angle shower. I like the shower in here. You can see you do have some shelving, the hand wand, nice big skylight up top, and the doors, because of the way they close, it's actually gonna keep all the water in the shower pan. You don't have to worry about opening a door up and having water uh, come out all over the floor. It's just nice and easy to keep clean. All right, back in the corner right here, this is going to be the bunks. You saw the storage outside, which is underneath this bunk right here, but Teddy Bear Bunk Series, both of them have an LED light there as well. On the other side of the bunks, this is going to be the entertainment center area right here. Uh, so this will be the spot where your TV would go. You can see the backer location, feed the cables right on down. And this is the multimedia center. Uh, cool thing about the multimedia center, that is what controls the speakers outside that I showed you. That is Bluetooth capable. Also controls the speakers in here. That's a radio, a CD player, and a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop it right in there. And then this, of course, is going to be the slide out. Nice big slide here. Take a look at how much uh, space you have. This is a huge U dinette. I love this because if you do have guests over, you know, everyone can sit around the table. You can have great conversation, play a game of cards, a board game. Everyone can eat, whatever you want to do, but just huge storage right here or uh, seating area. Also, if you're looking for extra bedding, the table does drop down and you can easily sleep to adults. Cup holders in the corner, nice big window there lets in a lot of natural light and as I mentioned we were outside LED lights throughout the entire coach. Underneath here on both sides you'll see easy access to storage and there's additional storage right here. You can see underneath your multimedia center a little bit of extra storage there. So great storage not only in the kitchen but in other areas of uh, this RV as well. Now when you step up into the bedroom if you do have guests there's a curtain here this will go all the way across to close off your bedroom area give you the added privacy. However if it's just the two of you of course you can leave it open nice open floor plan which makes it seem nice and big especially in a shorter coach this is one of my favorite parts this is going to be the Murphy bed uh, when a lot of people hear Murphy bed they get really scared and oh, I want nothing to do with it well I'm here to tell you Sonic makes a great Murphy bed and I'll show you uh, right now how quick and easy it is the advantage of a Murphy bed of course is the fact that your bed's not sitting out all the time instead you have a couch so another seating area um, one really cool thing about 
the Sonic, all of their cushions are made in house. So not, uh, that means a couple things. One, it's going to be a, a denser foam, so it's not going to break down as quickly on you. The other is it's going to be reversible. So this side is the Summit interior. If you don't want that, you can flip it over and you have the leather. So if you want to change up the look, or you know maybe uh, you have some grandkids coming and they're wet from the beach, you can flip these over so they're not ruining the fabric. But underneath this, I'll open this up, jackknife sofa, which means you get great storage underneath, and take a look. So to make the bed, you just drop the sofa down just like that. Undo the lock here. This is gonna fold down as one, two, and then the bed just like that. Now the neat thing about this, currently it's not made, but you can make the bed. You can keep the bed made uh, with this Murphy bed. It's super simple. You have the headboard up here as well. Some LED reading light, so if you wanna read at night, you can do that. Great storage up top and you have hanging wardrobe storage on the side. Uh, the bed does go up just as easily, which is wonderful. And if you need to charge any uh, devices, they do have plugins as well as two USB ports on this side as well. So you can uh, go ahead and charge your cell phones at night and have it by your bedside if you'd like. And if you wanna watch TV over on that side, you do have the TV connections. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Sonic 220 VBH. It really is a great bunkhouse floor plan. It's nice, small, it's lightweight. You have the big slide with the U dinette, huge bathroom, a ton of storage all the way throughout. There's a lot of storage in the kitchen, the bathroom, out in this area, outside. It's just a coach you have to come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit or you want to see what we currently have in stock, I urge you to visit our website which is AmericanRV.com and you'll find all the answers you're looking for. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.